Welcome to day two of the 2015 49er FX and 49er European Championships. The 81 team 49er men fleet kicked off their first day of qualifications. Yesterday, the 49er FX women got underway, with each contesting three days of qualification races, then on to final races and the hunt for the top 10 medal race spots. Getting onto the score sheet early on is important, sets the tone and gives some margin of safety net for the days ahead. The first day of racing is always gruelling, particularly for the younger and less experienced teams. The experienced campaigners have competed on racetracks all over the world and are better equipped to deal with whatever the racetrack throws at them. On the first day of a big regatta like this, I think it's important to come out firing on all cylinders and have a great first day. And then you just know that everybody's going to be improving from day to day, learning the venue a little better, sailing better, just in every way. So I think you have to improve steadily the whole time and uh, have a great day at the end too. A light breeze day for the women who wrapped up three races, just one day of qualification races to go, and all that matters is to be in the top 25 teams who'll advance to the Gold Fleet for the final series racing. Mounting a credible bid for the championship today were Italy's Conti and Klapcic, who seized the points along with the German team of Jurzok and Lawrence, propelling both up the leaderboard. Germans are now on a tie break with the Dutch pair of Beckering and Duwich who sit in first overall. It's a good regatta for us so far. Yesterday we had a really good day. Today we were struggling a little bit with getting the priorities right. But I think uh, we did well. It was, uh, it was a different course today. But it was good to, uh, to experience. Well, we had to look a bit better for what was actually coming down instead of just uh, looking what was happening on the on the previous leg. So that's what we changed and we looked a bit more for pressure and that, that worked better in the last two races. The breeze had picked up for the 49er men so they could stretch their legs with some intense racing. The four race format meant they contested almost half the qualification series, so managing the competition was essential. Already boasting Olympic silver, world and European titles and a relentless consistency, our favourites and reigning European champions Burling and Tuke from New Zealand. The partnership is unbeaten since the London 2012 Olympics, counting 16 wins in a row. Today this class act opened their championship defence with some results right up in the leading pack. The 49er men are up on the racetrack first tomorrow, followed by the 49er FX. A critical day for the women as they seek to establish themselves in Goldfleet. The moment of truth arrives. Don't miss it.